I hope you're ready because this is everything you need to know about the upcoming eclipse season. This fall winter eclipse season kicks off on November 19th. We have a partial lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus at 27 degrees. This eclipse peaks at about 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it's the longest eclipse we've had in almost a century. It's going to be lasting 3 hours and 28 minutes. This fall winter eclipse season is going to shift our collective views on money and value, and it'll be like a sneak peek into next year when the North Node enters Taurus. We also haven't had a Taurus eclipse since 2014, so reflect on what happened to you in 2013-2014 because those themes are going to be coming back up again. You might even notice the same people are in your life. Now the Taurus eclipse on the 19th will be square Jupiter, trine Pluto, and conjunct Algol. Algol is a fixed star that lies at 26 degrees Taurus, and this eclipse will be at 27 degrees. Algol has a really bad rep of being the most evil star. They call it Medusa's head. They call it the demon star. She is intense, but she has a bad reputation. The energy is going to be a bit gnarly, I'm not going to lie. But because this eclipse season is pretty historic, I would be making moon water and working with the moon anyways. But trust your own intuition. If anything, take some time to connect with your subconscious, meditate, do yoga, just get connected. Then on December 4th, we have a total solar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius. This Sagittarius eclipse will be at 12 degrees Sagittarius and it'll be peaking at 11.44 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But let me emphasize this is the last Sagittarius eclipse that we will be having for a very long time. This Sagittarius eclipse will be sextile Jupiter and square Neptune. There is delusion in the air. It wouldn't be a good day to make big life decisions. This eclipse season is going to be very draining and very emotional, so give yourself time to be alone. Do not overschedule yourself. Use this time to practice self-care, get in tune with yourself. I encourage you to embrace this intensity. Definitely do not fear it. You're going to be fine.